very good morning to you. This is Saturday, March the 19th from Caleb Ministries. Uh, John 14, verse 17. I think the whole book of John 14, there is such a load full of information in the, the book of John 14. Yeah, other books as well, but as I said, Jeremiah 31 is my favorite book, one of my favorite books, but John 14 as well. Read John 14 over and over again, and really, you'll get such a wonderful picture of the Holy Spirit. Now, um, I want to make a statement about spiritual or, or human spiritual evolution. Now, let's face it, and, and you can't deny this. There was a time in the history of man when, just for the sake of illustration, humanly speaking, that God, the Holy Spirit, God, was on the top of Mount Sinai. And then later on, in the times of the tabernacle, say then in the Old Testament times, he was with the people there between the cherubim. But now, after Pentecost, after Joel 2, verse 28, was realized with the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And so then when we accept Christ as Savior, He's not now on top of the mountain anymore. He's not with us anymore, but in us. In us. I read this verse. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive Him because it isn't looking for Him and doesn't recognize Him. But you know him because he lives with you now and later will be in you. Knowing he was about to be executed, Jesus spent his last evening with his disciples, focusing on some last vital instructions. Woven throughout the discussion was a promise to send his spirit to be with them. I will ask the Father, and He will give me another advocate, Paragletos, who will never leave you. He, yes, He will teach you everything and will remind you of everything I told you. That's in verse 16 and 26. He will guide you into the truth. He will not speak of His own, but will tell you what He has heard. He will tell you about the future, verse 13. But in the middle of these promises, one statement in particular described the nature of our relationship with the Spirit. He lives with you now and later will be in you, verse 17. We learn a lot about the Spirit from these few statements. It's as if He takes us by the hand and leads us wherever we need to go and teaches us whatever we need to know. But it's more than that. He isn't only with us, He's in us. He speaks to us, strengthens us, leads us, changes us from within at a very deep level. He becomes our life. And our lives become more and more Christ-like. Think about what that means. The most powerful being in the universe is living inside your flesh and blood body. The wisest being in the universe inhabits your brain. The most loving being in the universe is inside your heart. He is there, relentlessly, passionately there. And when we know that, think about it and trust in that truth, we begin to experience Him more and more. I pray, Spirit, I invite you to make your home inside me. Let me sense you there. I believe I am experience your power, wisdom and love as I trust in you more and more. And Thank you for this, this statement, this revelation anew. In Jesus' name, Amen.